Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Been kind of busy. Um, today we got a fun video. We're inside the garage today. I'm going to be replacing my front blinkers on the front grill with these LED JW speaker ones. They're the smoked look. It should give it a nice clean look and complete everything that I got going on. JW speaker headlights, JW speaker fog lights, and now the blinkers to match. Timing can't be any better. Um, I actually have to pull this grill off. I have this black grill. I also have my stock tank grill, which I'm gonna be putting back on after I do this install. We are going to be bedlining this entire Jeep. Um, I have a bunch of little nicks and scratches and stuff like that. I love the tank color. I'm not gonna get rid of that. So we're gonna bedline this the same tank color, but that's in a later video later this week. Um, some other updates, I will be at Jeep Beach 2018 uh, up in Daytona. I am staying there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want to catch me, I'll be at Fountain. I believe it's called the Fountain. That's the hotel I'm staying at. And I'll be around at the events. And if you see me, make sure you stop me, say hi. We'll talk Jeeps. Let's get to this install really quick. So, first things first, I'm going to have to remove the front grill. That's a given. These are the rugged ridge latches. I know people have asked in the past what I have. I didn't like the stock rubber ones. All right, so now I have the eyebrow, the Nighthawk one, so that's simple. That just unbolts the same way. Now with these, if you have a flathead screwdriver or if you have a trim tool, they come out really easy. Let me show you how to do that. Um, these little plastic push thins, you could do one of two things. You could get a screwdriver, pry up a little bit right there, pull that center piece out, and then pop the whole piece out. If you have a trim tool, what I like to do is I loosen it up just a hair and I'll get this underneath it, just like that. And you can simply just rock it back and forth and pull out that little centerpiece, just like that. That comes out, hang on to that. This comes out and you're gonna repeat that the whole way. Now this removed the grill as well as the Nighthawk thing that I have. I'm gonna do right across. Don't worry if you lose them, they're not very expensive. AutoZone usually has them, and any debris underneath it be fine. Now, once you have all of those push pins pulled out, the whole grill is gonna be loose now, as you can see. It's just held in with some clips here. They're pushed in, so you can pry that out. Pry this one out the same way, just like that. The grill will let loose. There's some more I don't know if I could get them here on camera, but they are right there. Can you see that? There you go. Right on the radiator support. There's some more push ones in. Just wiggle them. You don't want to break them. They will come out nice and easy. Don't need any special tools for that. And the grill is free. Right here, you could twist that sideways and remove the bulb. Same thing on this side. Pull that out. And now the grill is free. Should be free. Oh, I still got one more push right here. Pull that out. You'll be all set. And that's it. Grill removed. Now we can get back to work. Just because it's hard to do this and hold the camera, this is a little bit better. To remove the stock bulb you would just pull on here and if you needed to change the bulb you would change it that way but we're actually changing this whole unit what you're going to have to do is here's a little lock switch slide that up and there's a tab right here that you press once you press that tab it'll slide right out and you'll see the jw speaker uh, blinkers actually come with a little mounting tab that will pop back in lock it and you're all set before you do this step though, you will have to place them into the grill and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so once you have your grill off, you remove your stock blinkers, you pop the JW speaker ones in. So this is upside down right now, but the bottom part will say JW speaker. They give you this little bracket, left hand and right hand. Left hand stands for the driver's side, right hand for the passenger. These holes in the back have cutouts that will fit this in just like that the supplied bolt that comes with it, screws into the back of the blinker, and you're home free. That's it. The blinker will be in. Now you take that wire that we disconnected, plug it back in, 
push the grill back on and I'll show you what they look like. Hard to do this with one hand, but the plug on the JW speaker blinker has a extra little tab on one side. That's going to go on the side where the red clip goes. So like I was saying, that little extra tab piece goes right on the same side as the red clip. Make sure you push it all the way in. You'll hear it pop just like that. Lock that down, and it's a tight connection. It's not going anywhere. For extra security, if you really wanted to, you could put a zip tie right around this to keep it in there. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It'll bounce around, but I don't think it'll go too far to the point it'll disconnect. Again, same thing on that side, on the passenger side now. That little extra piece right there slides into the part that has the, sorry, hard to film with one hand, but come on, a lot of dirt in there. So that's gonna go in until it clips like that. Slide this little red lock into place. I believe that's actually just, just like that. I want to get that a little tight. But that's it. It's not going anywhere. And then you line up all your brackets again, the little push pins, and it will just lock back into place. Just like that. And there is one right behind blinker I can't get it on camera right there so that, that one right there I'm gonna push that in that'll lock in place same on the other side now you go get your little push pins that you had line them back up push them in your eyes are not playing tricks on you my grill did change color um, like I said we are going to be bedlining this Jeep this week so I'm putting it back to as much stock and removal as possible. Fenders, rock rails, light bar, um, the hinge covers are coming off, the tire carrier is going to come off temporarily. It's all going to be put back on, but once it's done, I'm debating whether I keep the bedline tank grill or I might do the same thing as this. I'm going to have the eyebrow bedlined the same tank color and leaving the gloss grill gloss black grill back in there let me know what you guys think let me clean up here finish putting in all these plastic tabs and then we'll test the blinkers and see what they look like got the grill all back together all those push pins put back in from a standstill eh, they, they look pretty much the same i mean you look at those those are clear these have a little smoke to them it's nothing drastic let's see what they look like when they're on test them out the hazard button okay so right off the bat I see it reflecting off the wall they are much brighter than the regular ones are they worth the $160 price tag eh I'm gonna say no on that one I mean the only reason why I have them I won them in a raffle and I didn't have to pay for them they're awesome and it you know it completes the whole look of the JW speaker front end but as blinkers, they're just blinkers. But if you are looking to do them, you know, and you know, you have a reason to, or you just like the look, maybe on a white Jeep, it'll look a lot better. On a dark colored Jeep, you don't really notice the difference too much. Now, at least you know how to install them. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, also, I can't wait to bedline this thing. I'm going to begin stripping this now. I'm going to be making a video on that as well. Um, I'm not sure if the front bumper has to come off because... I think the grill comes out when we paint it. I am looking forward to not losing the Rubicon on the side since it is the Hard Rock Edition. We're gonna tape over it and then remove it after the bed line so that will remain. I am going to lose my hood wrap, I believe. I don't know if what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna play it off, but we're gonna lose that. Badges will stay, I believe, and then we'll put them back on. These covers, are going to be removed. I believe they're made by Rugged Ridge. They're great, but I just don't have a use for them. So that's that. JW speakers all around now. Uh, tail lights, headlights, blinkers, fogs. They're a great product. They just, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, 
hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little bell icon to get my updates. Um, like I said, I am going to be at Jeep Beach. Um, I believe the week before Jeep Beach, there is another Jeep meet at Morris 4x4 in South Florida. I'll be at that as well. Um, can't wait to see everybody. Have a good one, guys.